Broken ribs are terrible. It seems that everything you do hurts. So to help you minimize the pain, sleep better, and heal quickly and fully, here's six important do's and don'ts. Don't wrap your ribs with a bandage or anything else, as this stops your ribs from moving as much as they need to. Your ribs need to move to heal with full mobility, and your rib cage needs to be able to expand to stop fluid buildup and infection in the lungs. Don't shallow breathe or avoid coughing. Breathing normally and coughing are needed to stop mucus plugging up the lungs. If it really hurts to cough, you can huff like this, or you can cough lightly, <coughs> or you can get a small pillow and put them against your broken ribs to support them as you cough. Don't stop moving. If you just sit or recline all day and never move, the ribs and the surrounding muscles will heal in a contracted state, and that area will stop expanding properly. This will restrict you and predispose you to lung infections. So keep moving, but keep within a 3 out of 10 pain scale for any movements. Don't hunch over for the same reason. Try to stand as straight as you can without going beyond that 3 out of 10 pain level. Don't twist or bend away from the area of damage, especially in the first week or two, because these types of movements move the ribs a lot. Pushing and pulling can really strain the ribs too. In the later stages of healing, these movements are important to heal properly, but in the first few weeks they can aggravate things. Don't lift heavy things, even a few weeks into the recovery if it's starting to feel a little better, because you can really set yourself back. Do go to the doctor to get an x-ray or scan if it was a major injury, you hear any cracking noises as you move, or you have any lung symptoms at all. Lung issues like infection, pneumonia, or even things like pneumothorax can result from rib injuries, and some take time to show up. And if the ribs are actually broken and displaced, they can puncture the lung lining, so if in doubt, get checked out. Do breathe in deeply five to 10 times in a row, several times a day within that three out of 10 pain scale to help to avoid fluid buildup and infection in the lungs and to avoid healing with contracted scar tissue over the ribs and muscles. Do ice the area with a soft, flexible ice pack for 15 minutes at a time from one to several times a day in the first week or so. I think it can make a huge difference to your pain levels and to help you to sleep, which can be very difficult in the early stages. Anti-inflammatory medication can really help you to sleep too, but be sure to get medical advice first if you're taking any other medication at the same time. Do sleep on a recliner to begin with if you can't find a comfortable position to sleep. In general, sleep where it feels the most comfortable. You can lie on the broken rib side if it feels comfortable, but get your doctor's advice for sleeping with serious breaks and cases with lung issues to help keep fluid out of the lungs. Try to sleep with light bedding so you don't have to pull heavy blankets to move, which can hurt. Sleeping with pillows around you can help to keep you in comfortable positions and they can help to support you as you roll over. Log roll to get out of bed. First, ease onto your side, trying to avoid twisting your torso. Then move your body as one. Pivot your legs down and your torso up, trying to stay in one line. Pushing with one hand against the other and the bottom elbow on the bed can help to reduce rotation. In the later stages of healing, you want to slowly move the ribs more. Keep under that three out of 10 pain scale but slowly begin to twist and bend the torso more. Raise your arms to stretch the muscles and to avoid contracted scar tissue from forming. Normally broken ribs take from six weeks to three months to heal, depending on the severity. 
Anyway, I hope that helps and you get through everything okay. If you did like the video, please consider liking and subscribing because it always really helps. And let me know how you go in the comment section below because I really like to read that stuff. Okay, cheers.